Derek and the Dominos and Eric Clapton Layla, eight minutes past ten o'clock. BBC Hereford and Worcester. I'm Malcolm Boyden. Good morning. Hope you're well. You can be part of it. Show you know. Well, you know you can. You know the drill by now, don't you? It's 0345 300 81 81 on the telephone. You can text me if you prefer to do that. You're more than welcome to. The door's always open. Let's call it hmm, an open door policy between now and one o'clock. So it's 81333. You start your message with HW and I'm Malcolm.Boyden at bbc.co. Dot UK. It's an incredible tale, a story we never saw coming. Well, why would you? Why would you expect a completely disgusting, horrible, ugly, yellow handbag to become a worldwide fundraising phenomenon? Impossible, I hear you cry. And that's what we thought as well. But it has, and it all started here on this show. Jill Edmonds and June Wilkinson came in and they introduced us to a monstrosity, a real stinker, a yellow handbag that nobody wanted, with no redeeming features whatsoever. They were auctioning it off for the Great Whitley Church Roof. I couldn't quite believe it when June gave it to me. I couldn't believe she'd bought it in the first place. Hello, June. Hello, dear. <laughs> Whatever were you doing buying this handbag, June? Oh, I loved it. What? <laughs> oh, I loved the colour. I loved the, the handle, that lovely plaited handle. Oh, it stinks, I, I got it home and I thought, this is rather large. But I did love it at the time. Okay. I made a mistake. And I love the colour because I'm a colourful person. June, you've dropped a clangor here. Oh, haven't? I have, haven't I? Yes, it's quite possibly the worst, the most ugly bag I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. <laughs> really? How much do we want for the world's ugliest handbag? Well, the sky's the limit. We, yeah, need, uh, so. we need a few thousand for the roof, to be honest. June, at least this hideous creation is helping the church. Well, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. But I like big bags no, I because I have a lot to put in them. Yes. I mean, At my a... age, I've collected a lot of gubbins over the years. And we've had a laugh over it, haven't we, June? Oh, we have, dear. I love a laugh. She just wanted a big bag to put her gubbins in. They listed it for three and a half quid. Once the world's ugliest handbag had appeared on this show, they got £26. Good. Story over. Uh-uh. Story just beginning. That's where the fun starts. Gemma's husband, Richard, he fancies himself as a bit of a comedian, he bought it for a laugh and Gemma thought, well, I'll auction it as well for a new cloth nappy library in the Forest of Dean. She raised 24 quid. Yannicka bought it. She lives in Norway. She's got a little girl who was born prematurely, so she thought, I'll auction it for charity as well, for my local neonatal intensive care unit. Because they looked after us. I asked her how much she thought she'd make. I have no idea. I am looking at the bag at the moment, and it truly is an ugly yellow handbag. I want it back in the UK, please. But the thing is, you see, it's raising money, it seems now, all over the world. So despite its atrocious look and its appalling nature, and it is a monstrosity, it is doing good around the world. It's the charm. You know, it, it's so <laughs> ugly, it's got charm. It's so ugly that it can do good. And who knows what will happen next? Who knows? <laughs> we could go global with this bag. You quite possibly could. It's so ugly, it's charming. She made 94 quid and she sold it to a mystery woman in Worcestershire and then everything went quiet. We never heard any more until this week. The ugly yellow handbag resurfaced online. This time it was listed by a lady called Natalie Hunter. She has an advanced form of bladder cancer. And I'm sad to tell you this, her prognosis isn't good. So she's raising funds for a cancer charity, Team Verico, who have been an amazing help to her. We're going to speak to Natalie, the current owner of the Yellow Handbag, after the news at 11 o'clock. But before we do that, there's somebody else we need you to meet. It's the mystery woman from Worcestershire, the missing link, the person we've never spoken to, the person got the, got the bag from Yannicka to Natalie. It's Jane, Jane Graham from Inkborough, and she joins us on the show now, and she's lovely. Hello, Jane. Good morning, Malcolm. Morning. Have you had a good morning so far? I have. Have we looked after you so far? Oh, of course. Excellent. So you are one of the owners of the ugly yellow handbag. I am. I have that accolade. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it is an accolade, isn't it? <laughs> How did you get hold of it then? Uh, my story starts when, uh, sadly, my husband Adrian died in December. Oh. Um, I took a long sabbatical from work and was busy doing a spot of decorating and uh, listening to your show, or rather, dare I say, half listening. Yeah, uh, that's all right. <laughs> we'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> and I heard the key words, <laughs> ugly yellow handbag, and it's back up on eBay. And that just sort of sparked my curiosity, and I thought, I've got to have a look at this. Um, I was very much into eBaying at that, at that point in time, so buying lots of things that I thought I wanted, even though I didn't need them. And, uh, well, that's it. Once, once I saw the bag, I was hooked. You've got um, to have it, haven't I've you? I've got to have it, yes, at any cost. <laughs> How much did it cost? How much did you get it uh, for? £94. Yeah, that's right. So Yannicka sold it to you. She did. For £94. What did you think when you got your hands on it? Well, it was truly ugly, as, as I told you before. Right. Um, but I'd, I'd never had an intention to keep it. My idea had been uh, for myself and my daughter, Beth, to uh, put it back up for auction and raise money for Macmillan this time. Yeah. So. Um, we were busy coming up with our marketing strategy, <laughs> as <laughs> yes. it were. Yes. Um, but then I was approached by Yannicka asking to buy it back. Yeah, but... for Natalie? Yes. OK. Do you know anything about Natalie? Um, I didn't at the time, uh, apart from uh, a little bit that Yannicka told me. Um, but I since know an awful lot more about yeah. Natalie. She's a lovely woman, isn't she? She is. Yeah. So why did Janica want to buy it back for Natalie from you? Did you ever find out? Um, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I had had been in, in touch with, with uh, Yannicka and uh, yeah, after she told me the very sad story, yeah. I decided, well, it's certainly not, not for debate. She can have it back. Oh. And, uh, you know, I certainly wouldn't consider... Um, her buying it back off me, I just donated it. Oh, OK. So you bought it for £94, donated it back to Yannicka to get it to Natalie, who's the current owner of the handbag, and who will join us on the show after 11 o'clock today. And Natalie is the lady, as I've mentioned already, with this advanced form of bladder cancer. She's a lovely lady, her prognosis isn't good, and she just wants to raise some money to help the people that helped her. What do you think about this story? Jane. <laughs> it's incredible, it's isn't it? It's absolutely amazing, uh, you know, how an inanimate object can suddenly raise this sort of publicity and somehow connect people um, and it m just makes you care about people who, who you don't even know. It's, it's, it's amazing how, how it's been able to achieve what it's achieved so far. And although it's a monstrosity, it's a stinker, it's an absolutely hideous creation, when you've got it, it's sort of got a, an, an aura, hasn't it? it it's it got has, a presence. It has a presence. I, I, perhaps it isn't so inanimate after all. Um, it, it does seem to, to have its own life. Uh, you know, it's... I, I do miss it, actually. Do you um, miss it? I, I mm. miss it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Albeit all sat on my dining table, cluttering the place up, collecting dust. But, but yeah, yeah, I do, I do miss it. I do miss it. Uh, I have replaced it. Oh, yeah, I can <laughs> see. You've bought in a little lemon <laughs> handbag today, which is very dainty and beautiful I and have, graceful. I have. It's very girly, but very, very much girl. contrary to the ugly yellow handbag. Very you, I think, Joe. <laughs> very you, very dainty, very graceful, very lemon. Not that you're lemon, of course. <laughs> Uh, so the story of the ugly yellow handbag goes on. How far do you think this can go, being a previous owner, Jane? Um, I wish it would go far. It's already doing extremely well. Um, and that's, that's thanks to Natalie's tremendous campaign, marketing campaign, Facebook, etc. So uh, who knows? Who knows? It's still early days. We have till Tuesday to find out how yes. much it... Well, actually, realise. They're talking about a Hollywood blockbuster. Wow. I know. Entitled Ugly Yellow Handbag, No Redeeming Features. <laughs> Somebody will play you in the film, of course. <laughs> Somebody to, who you can choose. But uh, you, you just don't know. The sky's the limit for this thing, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, it's lovely meeting you, the missing link. And you... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> We've filled in all the gaps now. So it started with Jill and June. It went to Richard and Gemma. Then it went to Yannicka. Then it went to Jane. And then it went back to Yannicka to get it to Natalie, who's the final link. The current owner will speak to her after 11. And it's got until Tuesday to raise as much money for Natalie's cha uh, cha charity, her cancer charity, as possible. Thank you for buying it. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being part of an incredible story, Jane. No, thank, thank you for pointing me in the right direction. Not at all. Proud to do so. And the story goes on. After 11, Natalie's on.